because it's about eating our emotions, I just picked this out of which falls in line with my understanding of how our thinking can do stuff for us. So whether you're trying to stop drinking alcohol or smoking cigarettes, cutting back on your eating or trying to eliminate coffee or sugar or simply trying to stop biting your fingernails, all habits are hard to break. But the habit that is the most difficult to break and that is the most harmful to your emotional state is perhaps the habit that goes most unnoticed, the habit of thinking negatively. You can tie your hands behind your back to stop, to prevent yourself from biting your nails. You can isolate yourself from alcohol or cigarettes so they are not available to you. You can withstand a few days of headaches and tiredness to get away from the coffee, but you can never stop thinking. What kind of thinking is negative? This is a very important question because many people are so used to thinking negatively that they don't even realize it's negative. Instead, they assume it's normal. The fact is, however, that any thinking that makes you feel less contented than before you started your train of thought can be considered negative. This includes, but is by no means limited to, thoughts related to how bad things are, the number of problems left unsolved, trying to figure out why something isn't right or why someone did something that hurt you or that doesn't meet with your approval. Any kind of mental negative dialogue and so on. We're so wired for, for fear, fearful thinking, catastrophic thinking, insecure thinking. We don't even, it's, it's almost like you say, well, I'm not, I, you know, I think positively or I don't think that negatively, but actually I loved the bit in there where it said, anything you think that takes you away from that good feeling, anything, anything. And that's why the, the habit of it is so difficult to catch. 